when you say the word three dimensional, that has to do with like volume and body and also the timing, right? Like of the different strings, da 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 dum, instead of just, you know, hitting them all at once. Yeah, is this three dimensional is, is this idea that notes and phrases are three dimensional objects that I can, you know, like a piece of clay that I can I can mold. If I want to have like a like a round shape, then sorry, I'm yeah, I have like whoa, I have something like that. Yeah? If I want it to be like if, if if I roll it out with my roller, then something like that. Yeah. And I can I can modulate it in a way. But I I feel like we're coming from two-dimensional world from from having things on paper, dots on paper, and we need to bring them to life so that they become three-dimensional objects. And once you start to think of, of notes as little creatures uh, that need, need oxygen, they need a little bit of, of, of care, um, suddenly the notes become much more alive. Yeah? If I don't give enough oxygen to, to, to that F sharp, then it's like, uh, it's suffocated. Yeah? So yeah. If I give it more oxygen here, then it, it becomes to be alive. If I if I don't treat it right um, with with the vibrato, then it becomes stale, right? So, and things like that. So uh, that's what I mean with three dimensional and and also with with you know, sort of a living organism. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing is with with thinking of you know of clay and and sort of modulating phrases is that you can each time you play them you can modulate them slightly different. So there is not one thing hammered in stone because stone, as, as far as we know, is probably not a living organism. Uh, although some people do disagree with that, but you know, to each their own. Um, but I think if, if, you, if you see this as, as sort of a trans, uh, always oscillating, transforming thing, a phrase, then your playing will never become stale and boring, but you can always apply what is right for you in that moment. That sort of in the moment versatility and flexibility is something that I value very highly. Mm -hmm. I think, especially when you, you know, for example, you go on tour and, um, and you have, let's say 10 recitals. Yeah? And if you are able to, with, within the realm of it making sense, you're yeah. able to, to have uh, 10 different performances that all hold their ground and they all have value and then that's amazing yeah then as musicians we, we become artists as we are creating mm -hmm. yeah. if we are just always playing the same version and playing the same thing then we just become uh like like cookie cutter robots mm -hmm. and i know so many players that are fantastic but they have exactly that attitude they're like this is how this goes. This is how I was taught. And this is how this is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. For me, that is the, the death of artistry. But, you know, everybody has a different opinion on that. Right. And I think, I mean, I think with performance, because it's not just like, you know, painting a painting or something, but you, you are performing in the moment a lot of the time. And it's interesting, like, I, I often think of playing an instrument as giving a speech in in that sense when you're giving a speech a lot of the time you want you want the speech to be different for different audiences like it's so cool now on youtube you can you can see how comedians are developing their sets mm -hmm. like you'll you'll watch a comedian you know perform in like let's say in december and then they perform again in, in february and the, the venues will have recorded that and put it on youtube and it's the same set but just by changing you know, instead of saying today I went to school, you know, somebody says today I went to school or today I went to school. That mm -hmm. already is three different three different versions. And you know, yeah. depending on on what you're trying to say, it's 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 changing the whole thing. That I find fascinating. Uh -huh.